What's up, guys? It's been a while. Uh, today I want to talk about a problem that I made using Legos, and it's going to relate to how to add up what we call arithmetic series. So backstory, I have a friend named Carter. Uh, he's 10 years old, and he was drafted to join my college basketball team this year. So one of my other teammates, Chris, and I were hanging out with Carter one day, and they were making this Star Wars Lego set. And naturally, I veered off and uh, decided to make a math problem for Carter. And so this is the figure that I constructed for the problem. And it's a, it's a little unclear because there's two types of Legos that look like this from the side view. You have the skinny kind that has one row of connecting dots, and you have the fatter kind that has two rows of connecting dots. So I use the fat kind just to clarify to build this figure. So now that we know this, we can see that this top row has six connecting dots, and then the row below it has four plus four equals eight more connecting dots than uh, that top row. And then in fact, each row has eight more connecting dots than the row above it. So then the question I asked was, how many connector dots are in this figure? And Carter thought about this for maybe two minutes, and then he thought of this clever idea. He said, in your head, you can cut off this right piece and then flip it, rotate it, and then fit it in like a puzzle piece to the, to the left part. And then what we have is a rectangle, which we know how to deal with. Rectangles are easy. So we count the number of rows now, and then we see that we have eight rows. And then all we need to do is find out how many connecting dots we have in each row. So we can lift this up and just count. So we see we have... Um, we see we have 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28. Add on that last 6 gives you 34 connecting dots in each row. 8 rows. 8 times 34 is 272. And that's exactly the answer that Carter was able to come up with very quickly using this clever idea. But when I originally, originally constructed the problem, I thought of this figure as representing an arithmetic series. And if we rearrange this, we can see that a little easier. Um, we have this sum. And if we can add this sum up, then we'll know how many connecting dots are in the figure. So what exactly do I mean by arithmetic series? Well, you start with one single number. In this case, I started with six for my top row, six connecting dots. And then you add some other number to it. So in this case, I added eight to get my next row, which had 14 connecting dots. And then I have to add eight again, because that's our common difference. So then I added eight and I got 22. And then I can do this as long as I want and continually construct rows that have eight more um, connecting dots in the row above it, and then you end up with this sequence of numbers separated by 8. And what happens when you add up a sequence is you get a series. An arithmetic sequence becomes an arithmetic series. So then if we can add up this arithmetic series, then we'll be able to solve the problem that I created. So we have our figure represented by this arithmetic series, and we want to add it up, but if we did it piece by piece, it might be boring, and it might take a while, but we know that addition is commutative, meaning it doesn't matter what order we do it in. So that means we can rearrange, and we can take the first number, and we can take the last number, and we can add them up and see that we get 68. And then we can take the second number, and the second from the last number, and do the same thing, pair them up, and we see again we get 68. And we can do something similar with the remaining four terms in the series, and since this represents this picture, why don't we try to do something similar with the picture? We can take the top row and add it to the bottom row, and then the second row and add it from the second from the bottom row the third row and add it from the third from the bottom row and then one more time and then we end up with this rectangle again and this time we have four rows and we've already done the math to see that we have 68 connecting dots in each row and four times 68 is 272 which is exactly the answer Carter got using his method two great methods that make adding this up a lot easier we can find the answer without actually counting how many connecting dots are in the figure um, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it and if you enjoyed the other videos, subscribe and I'll keep making them.